Hey, if you've been thinking of what could be the perfect gift to give that special someone in your life, you may want to give this a try. You know, everyone loves a homemade gift, especially ladies. And when you can create something that, well, it's a beauty product or something that allows them to relax, they love it even that much more. So this is a sugar honey scrub, which is great for your face and for your hands, and it's so easy to make. It's a natural product. Everything is natural here. It smells so good. I want to show you how to make this, and then I want to show you how to make some wonderful bath salt. So let's start with the sugar honey scrub. What you're going to do is you're going to take a half a cup of sugar, and by the way, this makes about a half a pint, so just keep that in mind. And to this, you're going to add two ingredients, and then we'll flavor it in just a moment. I'm going to take a half a tablespoon of glycerin, and I'm pouring it in here, and then I'm going to take some honey, and this is one teaspoon of honey. Now, it's actually easier to pour it directly out of the the uh, container of honey, but to show you, I just wanted to do it this way. Make sure that I get all the ingredients right. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna chop all this together and combine the glycerin and the sugar thoroughly. It just takes some chopping and using this little spatula to get it to that point. So I'll even work it like this, and when you do this, when you get your hands in it, you realize that the sugar is the exfoliant in this recipe. And of course, when you get in the shower and you use this, it rinses right off. Uh, the honey is a preservative, so it helps to lengthen the shelf life of this face scrub. And also the honey is good for your face, as is the glycerin. Uh, the glycerin is often used for shaved skin or if your skin is dry. And I think it's much better than oil. It won't clog your pores. So you can see I have this pretty well uh, completely blended. It has a nice texture to it. See, it's still dry. And now it's just a matter of applying an essential oil. You could use lavender. In this case, I'm using some citrus. I'm going to apply about six drops. There we go. And then to this, if you want to color it, you can use just a little bit of food coloring. It would be the only artificial ingredient that you would be applying here. So this one was purple. I created that by just using some blue and red. And it just takes a few drops. Here, I'd only use a couple. There. It just gives it a pretty color. Look at that. Completely transforms it. And then it's just a matter of packing this in a jar. I would double the recipe so you can make a full pint of it. And there you go. It makes a beautiful gift. All right, now let's talk about um, some bath salts because they're equally easy to make. You're going to use Epsom salts. What I've got here is a cup and a quarter. I'm just going to pour it in the bowl, and that will be followed by a fourth of a cup of baking soda. There we go. I just want to mix this together thoroughly. Epsom salts in the bathtub is really great to soak in. It's good for bruises and sprains. It just helps you to relax. Um, and then, of course, the baking soda is really good for your skin, so I'm working that together. Now what I'm going to do is add the essential oil to give it some aroma. So about a dozen drops of the citrus oil here. Lavender is also very good to use. Or just combine some things. Come up with your own recipe. Just work that together like this. And then it's a matter of adding a little food coloring. If we go with yellow again. If we want to go with orange, we're going to do about three drops of yellow and then just a little bit of red here to make it orange. It doesn't take much in the way of food coloring. And work this together like that, and you can see the color coming through. So you get it all worked together like this. Look at that gorgeous color. It's a nice sort of salmon orange. Beautiful, it smells so good. You can see um, how it comes together and how it presents itself in a jar. I just think it's really quite beautiful. You can put it in decorative jars, and people just love to receive this. And this recipe will make a, a full pint. This is so easy to make, and it's so affordable. You know, a jar of this you could probably make for less than $3. If you go to a fancy bath shop, just imagine what you'd pay for this. Hey, if you're enjoying these segments, tell a friend about them. Give them a try. Post your comments. I'd love to hear what you think after you've created these. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. All right, let's make some more.